Hey friends, Man with Into Mobile. We're at Mobile World Congress 2011. We're talking with Jeff from HP, and this is the just announced touchpad. We had a chance to look at it earlier, but let's let's take another look. Okay, so we have a, uh, a 9.7 inch uh, display uh, with uh, IPS technology. Uh, we have a dual core Snapdragon processor. It's the uh, third generation Snapdragon that drives this beast. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, we have a familiar workspace that WebOS uh, uh, delivers. Um, we prefer to show you the things you're working on rather than a sea of icons. We think that's a better use of the real estate. Uh, as you can see, we have the things that you're most likely to use. We have a full, full on web browser, supports uh, Flash, the latest Flash technology. And um, we also let you um, sort of see uh, easily the bookmarks and history panel right when you're in the, uh, the browser. And how do you go back to the home screen from there? Uh, from the home screen here, we have uh, our center button, mm -hmm. which takes you back to what we call card view. So when you're, all of your applications are considered, um, when they're running, their activities and their activity cards mm -hmm. in, in uh, WebOS. As you can see, I have two browsers here. They're stacked together. That's something we call stacked cards. They're put together because they're, uh, they're related. I spawned this browser from this browser. I basically went into the browser and I said, give me another browser instance. And so it launches the browser and here's where I can go to wherever I want. I can go look at the history and decide I want to see something uh, where I was before, uh, like maybe uh, news feeds, right, uh, about the Super Bowl. Basically, we think that this operating system is extremely intuitive. You can see I have a, a notification coming in while the browser is rendering the page. Mm -hmm. And while I'm in the browser and it's full screen, I can just tap on that notification. If it's something that I want to address, I can, I can tap it and go to it. Um, without leaving the browser and still doing what I'm doing, or I can decide, you know, that's not something I want to deal with right now, uh, and it goes away. Uh, that's part of something we call unobtrusive notifications. So you can see I have now a stack of three uh, browsers that move um, as one. Uh, I, can, uh, I can go into our email application. You can see that we fully render HT inline HTML content, um, and I can jump to, uh, to, to uh, URLs in the email, and it spawns a browser. You noticed as it did, it, it carded the uh, email application and brought me into the browser where I can consume the content that, uh, that was there. You can see if I go back, it's related to this email, so it put them together. If I think that this browser is something that I want to deal with separately, it's not related to that, I can put it off on its own and get back to the email and, and start consuming things. Great. And uh, can you just quickly go over the other specs on it? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have, um, I think I mentioned the Qualcomm dual core 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor. Um, it's got a Adreno 220 uh, graphics core, uh, which is capable of console level gaming uh, support. Uh, and we showed some of that at our press event. Uh, we have um, a accelerometer, uh, a compass, um, a light sensor, uh, a gyro, uh, which is part of that uh, demo that we showed uh, that, uh, for uh, Armageddon 2. Uh, and we have um, touchstone technology built in, um, which allows us to uh, simply put it in its touchstone uh, dock without attaching any cables and it inductively charges. As a matter of fact, it will charge inductively through the case that we, uh, that we make for the device. Great. Well, great. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.